After all, peacemaking is not a sprint. It is more of a marathon. Thank you. And we have May with us in the studio right now. Hello, May, and welcome to the show. Tell me, what yeah. was it like, the impact, once the video was released? I can tell you one thing. The impact of this experience was definitely bigger than I had ever hoped. We managed to reach over 1.5 million YouTube views on my talk. That is 1.5 million individuals from all over the Incredible. globe who know now the story of the Beirut Marathon and know Lebanon and who will become friends of the country and its biggest running event. We line right now on hold, Dr. Joseph Jabra, who is the uh, president, the Lebanese American University president. I was very, very much impressed by what she was doing through the marathon, bringing everybody together, yes. regardless of social, political, religious affiliations. And that's really something that is very meaningful, not only to me, but to the entire country. Lebanon, despite the challenges that we are facing, still has a lot to offer, not only still has a lot to offer not only the Lebanese, not only the people of the MENA region, but the people of the world. We'd also like to thank you once again for uh, taking the time out of your very busy schedule. Uh, Dr. Joseph Javra, the president of the Lebanese American University, it's been a pleasure having you with us today, sir. Run for change, run for hope. Uh, we now have Maxime with us in the studio. For everybody out there, we all know uh, Maxime Shaya is a Lebanese national champion in not only one, but actually several disciplines. How do you think, through your achievements, uh, we're changing perception on Lebanon? Well, you know, it's not just about running. I mean, yes, the marathon is about running, but it's about sports. It's the mm -hmm. power of sports that May and everybody um, who's um, involved in the Beirut Marathon is trying to convey. It's the way... Uh, sports unite everybody and gets everyone under the same roof. And it's about the same day, the, the, the only day in the country where everybody puts their hand together for just absolutely one cause, one flag, the Lebanese flag. And this, and this year, no matter what, we will have a marathon and it will help us live a better life here in Lebanon. We were just talking to uh, Mail Khalil, we got Maxime Shaya, and on the phone right now, I have another Lebanese legend, Fadil Khatib, with us. Uh, this, is, this is what we need in Lebanon. We need we need people who work for sports, who, who love sports, to keep all those people away from from uh, the drugs, from uh, from uh, the politics, from being, uh, you know, because sport is the stress relief for, uh, for every person. Would it be safe to say that we will be seeing you this year at the start of the BDL Beirut Marathon on November 10th? Yeah. Fadi, thank you for your very kind words. Running for peace. What do you have to say about that? Well, I would say yes, yes, yes. Yani. Running for <laughs> peace has always been the big underlying initiative for all our races, the Beirut Marathon and other races that we organize. We have a great tool to defuse conflict and it is sports. People need to set aside their differences and remember that no matter who you are, where you're from, what you believe in, you're still Lebanese. A personal plea to all of you, please support the Beirut Marathon. I'm in the marathon every single year. I will be again this year as well. Uh, I will be running, walking, limping, sprinting, anything it takes to get past that finish line. Because if there's one thing that I believe in and that we all believe in is that only through our personal endeavors and our personal effort, when we transpire our thought process into a physical uh, uh, aspiration, only then can we really show what we believe even. And um, it's a perfect opportunity on the 10th of November for all of us to get together and just uh, and just do what we do best. Have a good time. Above us only sky. Imagine.